The Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup is drawing ever closer and organizers are burning the midnight oil to make sure everything is in place for football's biggest showpiece. The Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy has now successfully tested the transport system that will be used for this year's tournament. Around 1,300 buses on nine routes took part in the test, which involved connecting downtown Doha with the stadiums. The transportation solution is an integrated solution that not only involves buses, but it's, it's buses and other means of transportation like metro and, and so on. Uh, together, and this is also coming together through uh, something called journey planner that is uh, uh, basically planning the journey for, for the spectators to go from one place to the other and bringing all the means of transportation together. Also part of the transport network tested was the metro and tram lines. More Salat Karua is offering the bus services for the spectators and the company has prepared more than 4,000 buses and more than 14,000 drivers for the event with more than 300 routes. Each match day has been planned on its, on its own and we do have our contingencies as well. And as I mentioned earlier, we are part of uh, an integrated transportation solution that includes all, I mean, all uh, transportation means. FIFA has already announced that organizers have sold over 2.45 million tickets for the tournament. It will be the first World Cup staged in the Middle East and has been pushed back to later in the year than its typical June-July schedule to avoid the region's punishing summer hit. Joy Kiruki Juma, CGTN.